My name is Michael Gervin. I teach the classes Business 216, Business 218, and BI 348. All these classes teach data analysis. Data analysis sounds scary, but it's not. We have raw data, and we convert it into a report or dashboard to help us make decisions. That's data analysis. But what does this have to do with assessment? Well, here's my syllabus for Business 218. And one of the student outcomes in my syllabus, I chose to assess. Now, this outcome reads, utilize basic, intermediate, and advanced Excel data analysis features for calculations and data analysis. Now, there's a lot in this outcome. So I chose, as the assessment name, new data analysis tools. Now, Excel offers these new tools because of big data. Now, it used to be that we only dealt with small data, but we now live in the age of lots of data. Now, back to the assessment. I did this in 2016. Now, for the years 2002 to 2016, using formulas and pivot tables for data analysis was great for these classes. But with big data and Microsoft's amazing three new tools, I had to bring them into the classes. But it all started with Business 218 in 2016. Well, with this new class content, I had to assess. First, how did I deliver the content? I created and used YouTube videos, PDF notes with written and pictorial summaries of the video, the raw data and Excel files to work with, in-class projects, and data analysis project homework assignments. For assessing, I use quizzes and tests. But the real assessment comes from a data analysis project in Excel. And I concentrated on Power Query and Power Pivot with DAX formulas. This was the assessment in an Excel workbook. This was the end result. But they had to go through a lot of steps with these new data analysis tools. The results of the assessment were not as good as I had hoped. Now, I wrote a lot here and reflected. But the biggest mistake was the order in which I presented the topics. I presented the full review of all the new tools in week two. I should have only presented a small preview of the new tools in week two and then eased my way into the full presentation later in the class. Now, at the end of this assessment, I wrote, yes, I plan to reorganize the order in which I present the new tools. And at the bottom, notice what I wrote. Assessment is fun. The reason I wrote that is because this one assessment exploded all three classes. And now, rather than teaching it all in Business 218, I teach a little in Business 216, a bunch in 218, and then the advanced stuff I leave for BI 348. So from this one assessment, it not only affected that class, but other classes that I'm teaching. That means the power of assessment is we get to learn and do a better job at making the world a better place here at Highline. Thank you.